Cheers! Cheers! Santé! Where are we going? Brussels. <laughs> where are we going first? The airport. Okay, well we're we're currently <clears throat> currently at the OKC airport and we're headed to Chicago. Chicago and then to Paris. Because uh, it was cheaper to fly in Paris and like, then from like six hundred bucks cheaper <laughs> oh, yeah. per person. So <laughs> deal. It's a deal. It's, it's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> then we'll take a train from Paris to go to Brussels. The first leg of our journey is in Brussels. The second leg is in London. London. And then the final leg and where we'll leave from again is Paris. Hey, this is so awkward. <laughs> We're currently trying to find the actual train station. There are like three different ones in this CDG airport. Uh, this is the terminal when we moved to France. We came in, had to get my bike box, had the cats. Still had a five hour drive <laughs> from like Paris to Sante. It was chaotic. It was chaotic, it was tiring. We survived though. We did, we easy, made it. Easy. Memories! We thought the automated machines would work for um, going out of the country, but actually they're just for Paris proper and the areas around it, so we have to go to a different SNCF machine to buy tickets out of France. Here it is. This should work. Oh, but that one doesn't work. <laughs> I guess we just wait for one of these. So it's important to pay attention to your actual train number and not the destination that you're going because sometimes looking for your gate it will say a different place because that's your train's final destination but you're just like stopping along the way ours is going to amsterdam but we're stopping in brussels exactly Yesterday was our first full day in Brussels and it ended up being like so much fun. We got to have like a little a mini reunion with our friends from France who went to grad school at Austin. So they're currently living in Belgium, about 30 minutes outside of the city. Zig and Usama came in around noon. We just hung out and chatted for a little bit. Then we made curry. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> the master chef Usama had to uh... At his best, cooking some very good, nice curries. Can you give them a close shot of the two? Yeah, yeah, close up, close up. Yeah. I gotta make delicious. Oh, okay. and, uh, oh, heck yeah. See, just showed up around 1 p.m. Say hi to the internet. Hello, internet. <laughs> My old friend. Hello, fans. <laughs> In today's episode of <laughs> Meeting with Sejo. <laughs> Where's the food at? This is how you eat an orange. <laughs> Beautiful. We made curry, we drank champagne and mimosas. <laughs> it was just like the perfect way to start this trip. I like, like at that decadence. Cheers! Something! Something! <laughs> Oh, 
sure you don't want to taste? Are you sure that's enough for you? You can have more, sweetie. You should have more. That's just like a reminder of all the good times we used to have together and we used to have curry dinner parties all the time. Austin and I don't really host anymore. It's something we did a lot in France, but not really like in America. <laughs> I think it just so happened that we had the largest apartment of all of our friends in France so they always came over to our place <laughs> even though they were terrified of our cats. We ended up having drinks and going out later to get some fries and dessert. <laughs> That just means like, oh, please go ahead. So I, like, I mean, Sibu, please, like, please. Yeah. yeah, but they don't say that in France unless it's like, Sibu, please, can I have this, please? Yeah, they would say like, bon appetit. Bon appetit, but here they say like, Sibu, please. Oh, actually, I And then they left last night and now Austin's going to work this week and I don't know what I'm going to do this week. We'll see. I've got a couple ideas, but we have to see where the day takes us. Seja is one of our friends and we have been telling her that we were going to visit her in Belgium for like three years, I think. <laughs> and we uh, finally made it to Belgium, but we haven't actually visited her yet. I think we're going to visit her city in a couple days on Wednesday. Today is Monday, so we should visit in two days. And she can finally stop getting mad at us for that. right? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in Louvain now, trust so me, you don't want to. She lives in Louvain and I live in Louvain le Neuf. <laughs> the new Louvain. Yeah. 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 So she said we are going back to Louvain. I said complete a sentence, the new. But it's funny because if you say Louvain, it's a different place? No. Uh, oh. The Dutch say it a different way and the French say it a different way. Oh, that's confusing. Yeah, exactly. And the funny part is because I would tell people, Oh, I live in uh, Louvain, and they'd be like, ah, oh, Louvain enough. And I'd be like, no, 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 Louvain. But you have to say it in the Dutch way, which is Louvain, and then they'd be like, ah, the Dutch side of Louvain. Mm. <laughs> so are they actually connected, or are they like mm -hmm. yeah, totally separate? Mm. So basically, there was only Louvain, mm -hmm. and there's a big famous university, right? The KU Louvain. Mm -hmm. And what happened is like they drove the French-speaking people away, mm. and they were like, oh, we're going to make our own Louvain. Louvain enough. And then they had their own university there, which is like used to be a branch, now it's not. Mm -hmm. So that That's university so is still related to KU Leuven. And I think even the name is the same in the sense of it's still the Catholic University. Uh -huh. But I think in uh, Leuven, it's UCL, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So University Catholic, Catholic Leuven. Yeah, the Catholic Leuven. It's university, the, yeah, university Catholic Leuven. Leuven. Mm. The Leuven. That's funny. And KU Leuven is Catholic University. Like in Dutch. Um, mm -hmm. 